I was trying to turn pro the the normal way that Australians turn pro, um, coming through the continental program and then doing Asian sort of racing with a little bit of Europe. But just when I started to to get results with the Herald Sun Tour, the world locked down and uh, Academy was the only way to for me to turn pro in that year, especially when I was turning 25. And yeah, without it, I wouldn't have had the opportunity to come to Europe in 2021. Turning pro completely like changed my life. Like I would never have lived in Europe. Mate might have been able to come over for a holiday, but being able to see all the places I have, giving uh, my wife the opportunity to work from home and be able to see Europe as well, it's, it's been incredible. I think uh, turning pro was it was different to what I thought the uh, the whole experience was going to be. You're not staying in five star hotels. You're not uh, you're not always uh, going and eating out at fancy restaurants. It's it's a lot of a lot of hard work that I don't think lots of people see. I think the hardest thing about going from uh, Australia to the pro level in Europe is the the size of the groups that you're riding with. Instead of 50 people, it's you know 150 people, and everyone has lots of experience, and everyone's very strong. So the the trick was learning how to ride in the bunch. That was the hardest thing, I think. I think it's better. Like the the highs are way better than I thought. I I'm having I'm, the most fun I've ever had was this year's Volta and the training camp before. So I think it's the highs are better than I've ever thought, but also the lows are. The lows are a lot worse than I've ever had before as well. So.